Why, hello. <laughs> We're a smidge late. But... We're finally here. I don't see anything at the bottom. Ooh, what is this? Pit stop. Nothing. Understandable, haven't I say? Oh. Hold on. Because we knew this would happen at some point. I need to restart the stream already. Not restart the stream, but restart the, uh, the page. Reload the page. Words. We're here. Ah! I should have done this before stream, just because of something that's happening right now. <laughs> Nobody saw that. See matchmaking, good lobby, customization. I'm hoping we get we probably won't get 14 wins before the next event starts, but he does have a gold tier skin we can use. So he could potentially get extremely lucky here. At least that's my hope. We'll stick with that. This is Pretty much what I want at the moment. Hmm. Are we gonna uh, get a race? Electron Avenue. I don't know if we've actually played on any of these tracks. Or any of these... Or with any of these people. Sorry, not tracks. I know exactly what I'm talking about, I promise. Cheddar Balls, 117. I am super excited for tonight. I have something planned. But I am not telling you what's happening. But I hope Aspect gets really excited tonight. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. I'm going to wait till I'm in the party with her to drop it and be like, hey, you should check this out. It'll be really heckin' nice. Because I can probably do something for her. And I'm, I feel like okay saying this because it's not like she's going to pop up and be like, hi. At least I don't think she would. But. Who knows? If she does, I haven't said what it is. Just stay back there. But. Either way, I'm excited for tonight. Oh my gosh, that person came alive. That was ridiculous how fast they came up. Party? Are you invited? I mean, if you have an Xbox, you can join the party. Hey, that was rude. Whoever had the clock, just why? Oh, nice. That actually hit it for me. I didn't get the jump. How are you doing today, Matt? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Oh, that was bad. As long as we finish top three, we'll be in a good position. But I feel like we're doing the, uh, the speedy speed a lot better by the Ultra Second Fire. Oh my gosh. Dang it, that was not what I wanted. This is what I wanted right here. Yes. Aww, are you kidding me? That did me a big sad. I didn't want that. To be fair, I should have known something like that was going to happen. I had the, uh... 
the uh, shield for so so early on that something bad had to happen to it. But who knows? Maybe I'll get another shield. Was that person right on my bum? If so, I didn't realize they were that close to me. Ooh. That heckin' baby T is really far ahead. Let's see, if you're good, I applied for a promotion yesterday. If you get it, you'll be even more able to get y'all jobs Ooh, when you're on way to Washington. Heck. Alright. I wasn't expecting that. But heck. Come on. Oh no! Oh, that could have been bad. What would this be if you don't mind me asking? Aw, oh, I was hoping that maybe I could have hit that. Maybe T is so far ahead though. They know how to use the Ultra Sacred Fire. There's no doubt in my mind about that. You might be wanting to boot you. Why not use your shield? That's why. Come on. No, I lost it. And it's for me to visit Aspect. Maybe I'll visit Washington and then never go home. Oh heck. Can't believe that you had planned this out. Who would even do such a thing? Oh, we actually will finish this. I thought he was a lot farther ahead than that for some reason. Oop. On behalf. Spyro comes out tomorrow for Crash Team Racing. I'm so excited. We should be getting the Grand Prix intro tomorrow as soon as they load in. Which I'm ready for. Fancy Whole Foods name, but essentially Grocery Assistant Manager. Heck. That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Ah, my arm itches. And we'll be living in the, <laughs> the Harry Potter closet, right? All that space. <laughs> I think I remember you saying something like that. If I'm not mistaken. You're a few months wife being super ready for it? Yeah, I completely get that. I would 100% completely get that. Also, heck, that fake baby T is fast. I'm gonna stick in this lobby until we get kicked out. I'm curious to see how much money we'll leave with. I'm hoping it'll be a decent amount. Because if it's a decent amount, then. We should be able to get whatever expensive bundle they have out. For the beginning of Spyro's event. Because I'm sure they'll either have a bundle for characters or they'll have a vehicle bundle. Or, well, most likely both, because I think both events had that so far. Also, super excited. We can stay in the Harry Potter blank closet for a visit. If you want to pay enough, you can take the bonus living room. There'll be one full as blank house. I swear he's my half. How could you? Also, I don't know why I thought of this recently. But I thought of the very first time... 
Hold on. I, I just thought of the very first time you said your wife heard me talk. And yeah, she thought I was having a stroke because I was trying to save Mentos from uh, Legend of Jagoon. Yes, I remember that now. My short term memory is bad, not my long term. But yeah, I all of a sudden remember that recently. The Spyro event is good. Also, the uh, trailer for it's out. So, the uh, track itself takes place across multiple Spire of the Dragon levels in the first game. And it actually goes across a few of the hub worlds as well. You use portals to go through the different levels, it's really cool. I already think it's my favorite new track. Out of the three that have come out, counting that one even though it's not out yet. I'm super excited for whatever they do next month, because next month is going to be... Well, I'll say next month, but it's still August. I'm, I'm super excited for what they do in October, because... They're going to do something for Halloween, and I want to see their Halloween theme track. And I'm fully expecting maybe a Christmas track. I, but I think... Well, honestly, my opinion, I think... We're going to be getting the uh, a Halloween themed event next month, or October. We're going to get a Crash Tag Team Racing event in fall, or not fall, November. I don't know why I said fall instead of November. And I think we're going to get a Christmas themed event in December, because I mean, that makes the most sense to me. I'd be all for this, too. Come on. There we go. No, oh, I got hit, too. Wait, I thought I had... Oh, no. There we go. I gotta get my wins as Big Norm. No, I saw that coming a mile away, but I still went into it. Come on. If you want to see the trailer, it is on YouTube. I don't remember what channel it's on. It might be on the Crash Bandicoot YouTube channel. The official Crash Bandicoot, of course. And uh, it showed Chicken Stew with Spyro. And Spyro looked like he was just a lost kid with some strangers at a store. He just like didn't know what he was doing there. He was just like, hello? Who are these two people? Oh my gosh, he looks so good. Also, I just realized yesterday I said I wasn't going to say anything about it. And then today I'm just like, I'm too excited, I can't hold it back. <laughs> I'm sorry. At least I'm not talking about anything that got leaked, I'm talking about the actual trailer. That's what I'm worried, uh, not worried, that's what I'm wondering too. I'm super excited to see what all he has. And I'm seriously hoping he's a speed character. That's what I want to see. You don't know how bad I want to see that. If he's speed, I'm good. But I don't know if he'll be speed or not. Oh. 6,407. We only had two races. I'm fine with this. Sunglasses, Spyro? I can see that. I'm seriously really curious as to what they could do for Spyro for a gold tier skin. 
Because I think all of Crash's skins are different outfits he's had. Yeah, they are. And, oh, in case you're wondering about. Well, actually, the Electron Crash isn't. The, the Mad Scientist one, that's from uh, Crash Tag Team Racing. My grandpa golfer look. I'm currently using him trying to unlock all his uh, skins. I need to get 13 wins for this one. Big Norm and Small Norm have the same skins at the moment. Because reasons. There should be a golf cart. There should be a garf, golf cart vehicle, not gorf. There should be a gorf cart vehicle. Don't mind me. Also, Aspect wants to play more Destiny this weekend, so we might both stream again this weekend together. Which would honestly be pretty nice. I wouldn't mind doing more D2 or D1 with her. Luna. Luna, baby. What are you doing? Luna, you wanna see these? She shook her head now. But yeah, I wish there was a golf cart. I was about to say golf cart cart. But I do wish there was a golf cart that you could drive around in. I would use this character exclusively. Well, on Small Norm as well. I think Small Norm is. Uh, acceleration, maybe? Whoops, I didn't mean to skip that. I wasn't thinking. I accidentally skipped that. Don't mind me. Come on. That's not what I wanted. Oh, I was hoping I could actually get close enough to him. No. I'm getting bullied over here. No. I have to say, I don't like my golfer grandpa look. Come on. That's rude. Come on. There we go. That was just bad. I shouldn't have gone that way. Ah. That was such a bad thing for me. Holy cow. Hint of Penguin is so far ahead. There's no way anybody's gonna catch him. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. I'm finishing top four at least. If I can finish the race, that is. Man, I was hoping for the item. But that item wouldn't have mattered. Whew. I knew that was coming. Ah! We're close enough. I'm not gonna do that one rule. Plus, we got hacked up so bad in that race. And that Penta is just like, I'm out. I don't need to deal with this. Not today. Not today? I don't know what I'm doing. Don't mind me. Whew. I'm super heckin' excited. For Spire's event to start tomorrow. It's going to be my favorite event so far. Because the idea of Spyro Crossing Over is so just exciting to me because I've always associated Crash and Spyro together. 
because they've they pretty much shared a history together. And like they've made cameos in each other's games and they've been there. Like we they've been around since Crash 3. And there's always like little nods or things to each other. Like in the PlayStation 1 games, if you got Crash 3, Crash Team Racing, or Crash Bash, you had demos for Spyro 1, 2, and 3. Same with Spyro 1 through 3 to Crash 3 through Bash. It's nice to finally see them in one of the best car racers ever made. In my opinion. That's just my thoughts, though. I'm, I absolutely adore this. I'm glad this is a thing. Also, another thing I'm super excited about, next week I get to play new Monster Hunter content in the world, and I... Have been waiting a long time for this. I will say I'd love to Luna. Stop. Down Luna. We'll say I would love to uh do some Monster Hunter content, but I don't know if or when I'll actually be able to. We'll just have to wait and see. I don't know why I said it like that, don't worry about it. If we can get a win every other race, we should be down in a single digit somewhere. At least I would think so. We're both just going. Oh heck, I missed it. He just annihilated this course already, in my opinion. So I have never been able to do that. I've never been able to go around that loop like that. And he just effortlessly seemed to go around it. But he screwed up that one part right there. Dang it. I screwed that up. Well, alright then. That's not what I expected, but I'll take it. It's better than it could have been. If I could have done better on that second lap, I could have been first. No! That was such a good placement of that. I didn't even realize that was there. Come on. Come on. No! I screwed that up! Holy cow. The Vent of Penguin is so far ahead again. Holy cow. I want to be that fast. There we go. He at least got second. I feel bad for Delight. I don't know if they were just... Getting in races just to get multiple coins, they're like, I'm not gonna race, I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Or if something happened and they're just like, oh, there's no point now. But they still want to get the multiple coins, I don't know. Hopefully they'll race in the next track if they're still here. 
That's my hope. At least. That's always my hope. Also, Matt, I don't know if you're still here, but we started Rest of the Wild today. And I'm super excited for it. I had a lot of fun. We did get a Korok Seed, and I need to get out a guide for all the Korok Seeds so I can mark it down. Because, I mean, pff, there's 900. It's going to take us a while to get them all. I can pretty much guarantee that. Whew. Which is kind of a shame. But I mean, it's a thing. <laughs> that heckin' Penta player is so good. Um, no maps to choose from? Excuse me? Get to the count of three and then we'll leave. <coughs> Unless it pops up. Xbox. Play a wish got kush. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Yeah, an Xbox player. Which I know is like a rare thing. <laughs> but yeah. I'm currently working on just grinding some money out and working on getting his final skin. I've gotten all the beginner characters taken care of, not counting gold tier skins. Except for. Oh, actually, just except for him now. Yeah. That's actually not bad at all. All we got left is really Big Norm's final skin. I... I'm sorry your day's been bad. And I'm curious, have you, did you beat me? Because I'm not the, I'm not the worst, I'm not the best either. So it's like, I don't know. I can't be like, I won or I lost. Let's see, you're happy you found an Xbox player? You try to find as many as you can? Five so far? I'm on every night for two hours a night at least. Or an hour and a half to two hours a night, depending on what I plan on doing. Tonight is just going to be an hour and a half, because I started a bit later. Bush, thank you for following. I really appreciate it. But yeah, I'm on Monday through Sunday. Every day, at least two hours. We actually finished up, we actually played longer than I normally do on, like at night, yesterday. I finished up the hard mode adventure after getting my Wumpa coins. Really? Alright. That's good to hear. I, I'm usually top three for the most part. I've had a few days where I've won every single race. But usually if I win every single race the day after, is like, I'm garbage. Just it's been like a weird consistently, a consistent thing that's happened. I've raced a few people on Xbox 2 that were just like, amazing. That came in and were like, hey, I want to play. I haven't seen him in a while, but I played a Star Baker for a bit. I don't know if you've seen that gamer tag or know him. But he beat me quite a few times. And I actually did start beating him a bit more later on. But I not like to the point where I was beating him more consistently, but 
I did start beating him a few times near the end of the last, well, the last few times I played with him. But he was really good. Something tells me I might be set on this track. I might get the win. His gamer tag sounds familiar. You try to keep ta track of uh, sweaty names. Heck. I try my best to win all the time, but like, it's of course not gonna happen. Cause like I said, I'm not the best. I will say I do leave most of the time if I find people that finish the races where I can't finish. Because it's harder for me to get better going up against somebody that I can't keep up with than somebody I can easily keep up with. Also, sorry, one second. I don't know what happened. I was literally losing my voice there. He beat three top ten players towards the end of the Grand Prix. Colonel Sanders. I don't think I've raced any of them. I did really well on that track. That's the first track I actually got uh, from Oxide Simon. I will say though. There was one day where I did amazingly well, and we raced online in Poppy's Temple, and I actually beat my own time trial time by like five seconds. And I haven't gone back to try to get my time better, but I was shocked about that. I just remember that being a big thing for me. I do not like that my voice is leaving me today. I might have played Breath of the Wild too much today. <laughs> Colonel Sanders is insane. Only times I can beat him are when items are somehow involved. So not the proudest wins, but you count them. I mean, I'd count them too. This track I'm very iffy on, but I do enjoy it a lot. I, like I said, I haven't actually gone back to try and best it yet. The only time I really will try to go back and best it is to beat Oxide Times on new tracks. And if there's a challenge during the GP for beating a personal best. Which there has been a few times, but it's gotten harder since they're all faster than Oxide Times now. This track is the biggest coin flip on how well it goes. Sometimes on uh, Skyway I can keep the Ultra Sacred Fire for the entire track, and other times I can't even keep it more than 5 seconds. If I can get past that first turn I'm usually good. Also, there we go, I was about to say it sucks sometimes trying to wait for lobbies because it just seems like it takes forever sometimes. And I will say, even though I don't like losing, as long as I can stay close to somebody in front of me, I can go back and see what they did differently than me to learn and get better at the game. So losing isn't the biggest deal, as long as I can stay close to them. But that's not always going to happen. And I will say, I'm glad that I actually got everything in this event. The back in time event, or back, yeah, back in time. I wanted to get everything for the last event, but I missed out on three flags. I mean, there's technically two stickers in this event, but nobody was able to get them. So I'm wondering, like, what are we going to miss the next event? Is it going to be a set of tires? Decal? 
I hope we don't actually lose out on anything again. But I'm so excited for Spyro stuff to come out tomorrow. I can't wait to play on that track. It looks so good. You missed the first Grand Prix? I'm sorry. I'm sure that stuff's going to come back, though. I would hope it if it does. I would, I would hope that it does, honestly. Like, even if I didn't get the, uh... Like, even if I didn't miss out on the, uh, stickers, like I said. I'd still want stuff to come back, because it's like... I don't really care for me, like, I have this and you don't, mentality. Yeah, I know some people are like that. Like, I worked hard for this, you shouldn't get it. But I'm just like, if it comes back, it comes back. It'll give people more, more of a chance to get it, which I'm fine with. Dang it. I knew that was going to hit me. Nork is... I think Nork's going to be a speed character. I hope, uh... I hope that Hunter's at least acceleration. I see Spyro being an all-around character. And I'm super hopeful that they all get some really cool skins. Now, I know it's kind of weird that they didn't have uh, Spyro's gold tier skin as a reward for the Grand Prix, but I hope he has one in the pit stop. Because if so, that's going to be really good. I wasn't expecting there to be uh, Crash Mind Over Mutant stuff, though. Like, I honestly didn't expect it one bit. I'm not, a, I'm, I don't really know how to feel about it, either. Because Crash Mind Over Mutant was the last Crash game that came out before the remakes, I think. It was the last one I played. It wasn't my favorite, but I didn't hate it. It's just, those just seem really weird to have in the game. For some reason to me. I'm surprised how well I'm doing on this track, because usually I don't get to keep this all the way around the track. They usually screw something up. I screwed it up right there at the end of this little part, though. Oh, alright. There's a Skylander skin reference with the Dark Spire? Really? I didn't realize that. I didn't plug any of the Skylanders games. But I have planned for a long time now, and I don't know when this will happen. But I have planned on going through and streaming all of the Crash and Spire games at some point and just showing off everything in all of them. The only thing I'm worried about is the Skylanders games, because all the toys. I've never played them either. I didn't expect them to have a Skylanders reference. But if that's the case, it makes sense that they're also having the Mind Over Mutant references. Because that's referencing the last of their series, of the past series. But I want to know what they're going to do after this. What are they going to do, well, next for Spyro? And, of course, Crash. But I say after this because they're not done with Crash Team Racing yet. Unless Vicarious Visions is actually working on a new Crash. Which I think would be nice. I trust Vicarious Visions after the one bonus level they did. Because that was a good level. I, I wouldn't be surprised about that. I really wouldn't. I've never played Skylanders. I wanted to at least give it a shot, but I was just like, I can't. I don't have the money for all these toys. <laughs> all these figures for it. But I might try it in the future if I do go through and do every other Spyro and Crash game. wins we had I think we're I think we need 13 more 
We need 11 more. That's not bad at all. But yeah. It, I'll say this about myself. I'm the kind of person, if I enjoy a series, I will try to go and experience everything a series has to offer. The good and the bad. Like earlier today... Alright, I hope you enjoy what you're doing and I'll finish this whenever you get back. If I remember it, that is. Prehistoric Playground. I'm glad we actually got both of the new tracks back to back. It'd be nice if that'll happen tomorrow, because I wouldn't mind actually having that happen tomorrow. I'm still wondering why they haven't had anything happen with the uh, chicken gate thing. In um, the, the adventure mode. I'd like to see what that's all about, but I'm not sure if we'll ever see it. We'll just have to wait and see. Bombs away. I don't I don't use bombing bombs. I am not good with them. I have made them work for me, but it does not happen often. Luna baby. Come here, baby. Come here. Your fur's so soft and your belly's so soft. Such a good cat -o. This has taken an awfully long time to load. Move that right there, move this right here. Lena, what are you doing, baby girl? If you want to walk across, you can walk across. Put this right here. Hope for the best. Kim, man. Are we going to get to go? Oh, that person's got the Kabuki skin. Was it Kabuki? I think it was Kabuki. If I'm mistaken, I'm so sorry. I'll wait for somebody to leave, and if somebody leaving doesn't get it to work, we'll drop out and find a new race. Dang, I was hoping we'd get this one. Mister, you'll be sorry. I played with them before. Sorry, can you what uh, I was talking about? You're on mobile Twitch? And people are asking you to do stuff, but not specific, so you have texts back inquiring for more details. So, um, I'll give you a little bit of info about me when it comes to series. If I enjoy a game in a series, or if I start to enjoy a series a lot, sorry about the prehistoric playground, it looks like somebody was holding the race up. Um, if I enjoy a series, I want to experience everything it has to offer, like the good and the bad. So, say, Skylanders is a bad series, but as far as the Fire series, I still want to experience it at some point. But, Bravo! there's also the fact that I've been playing Zelda a lot. I want to experience all that series has to offer. I even want to go and try out the, uh, the CDI games at some point. And yes, I know it's going to be like torturous, but I'm going to eventually go through those at some point and hope for the best. What? I can't believe what I'm seeing. There's three people in champion carts here. There's no way. 
My hair, I really like that emote. Is that the uh, monkey from Mario 64? The one that steals Mario's hat? Is that what I'm looking at right now? I actually have that. I can play that. If you really want me to play that, I can do that after I finish Breath of the Wild. That should only take like one, maybe two streams, depending on how long I get to play. But I do have it and I, I am more than willing to play it. Also, is that Mew? Also, I noticed she had Flareon up there. You got gifted a sub? That's awesome. I really like that emote. I like all these emotes so far, honestly. They're all really good. I do... I do think I'll do it at some point. But I just don't know how I'm going to get around to it. But I might just do it after I beat Breath of the Wild, if I remember to do that. Since Thursdays are just generally Zelda. During the day, at least. It would be pretty fun to actually go and just do that. Especially after such a long Zelda game. Because, I mean, Breath of the Wild is Breath of the Wild. It's probably the biggest Zelda game ever made. Actually, I take that back. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. I was going to fire that rocket at him, but he told me not to. Yes! He hit the speed boost, didn't he? Also, what is going on with that uh, warp warp? Oh. Did I hear it coming up behind me? I'm scared now. I don't approve of this. You're getting like six to eight gifted subs in the last two months. That's, that's kind of amazing, honestly. I will say, I've been getting a few gift subs here and there in channels that I've never even been into, and I'm like, excuse me, how is this happening? At least I don't think I've been any in these channels. To be fair, some of them have been happening while I've just been lurking and people have been hosted or raided, so... That could have been the reason. Also, why do I feel like this lobby got completely empty besides me. Oh, it wasn't. Okay. No coins from me. But I want all the coins. Hi, Mother Mania. How are you doing? We got our horse in Zelda. I don't remember if we were still there for that or not. And we went and saw the Great Fairy. Quite a bit of time to screw up there. Dokken was still Saturday. Yeah, you missed me taming the horse. That that was an experience. But I got it. I tamed it. It's ours now. Which I'm really happy for. I'm glad we got it. And Thanks to my half, I already know what I'm going to play next after I beat Zelda. Link's crossbow training. What am I playing tomorrow? Oh boy. We're playing Sonic 06 tomorrow. I gotta do Shadow's S ranks. I, a long time ago, was like, I'm going to see how bad this really is. I'm going to 100% it. I've regretted it ever since. Like, I am enjoying it. But it's been one of those things that's like, oh god, what have I got myself into? Let's see. Being a bonus abuser and saving Thursday daily resets for tomorrow. Oh, for tomorrow morning. Some people do like Sonic 06, like, some people genuinely like it. I 
like how stupid it is. I'm not gonna lie, I love how glitchy it is. That, like, that's my personal opinion. I'm not going to sit here and genuinely say it's a good game. Because I can't do that. But I find weird enjoyment out of it. So I will accept it while it lasts. I know... that Wasn't it... Wait. I know they've changed it at one point. Because used to I could get the bonus like weekend coins at this point in time. But, I think they changed it specifically for the uh, events, which makes sense. And I know I'm not going, I'm, I'm ruining my chances of getting more money by playing it now instead of in the morning. But, I won't be able to, I won't be playing it tomorrow until 8 o'clock at night, so it's like there's no point. Chill out. Who even chills out? I never, I, I am never chill. I don't know what you're talking about. Ooh, I see a digital in trophy. That digital in trophy is doing his best. Oh, rude. Can't believe they do that to me. What Sonic game did he think it was? I just call it Sonic 06 because that's just what everybody calls it. It's literally just Sonic the Hedgehog, but the one that came out in 2006, so... Man, I thought there was a digital entropy in here. Yes, I just drove right into that. Oh man, I should have turned in there and fired that rocket. Whoop. That works out for me. Dang, I did that way too late. That was completely my fault. That Sonic game was, is top, but all I'm missing at this point is S ranks. And whenever I make a promise that I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna keep that promise, even if it's a few years late, like Sonic's is. It's gonna happen. I may have to play a good Sonic game, at least good in my opinion, after I beat it. Cause even though I've like found weird enjoyment out of it, it's like. It can get frustrating at times. So I'm thinking I might need to just play Sonic Adventure after. If I can, that is. Sonic Adventure 2? Oh, Sonic Adventure 2 is good. Sonic Adventure 1 is also really good. What? Oh god. I came to, a dead, came to a dead stop there. I don't know exactly why that happened, but it's fine. I really like all those Pokemon emotes. I didn't mention that before, but I do really like them. Forty-nine, forty-six, forty-nine. That's not. Bad. It's not the best though. I was about to say it's not. It's not bad. It's not the worst though. Because apparently, I don't know how this works. But we should be single digit now, right? Or am I just forgetful enough that I forgot that we only got one win since I last checked? I don't know. We'll just keep going. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping. 
I'm really, really hoping that somehow, some way, we can get this tonight. But I don't know if we can. Also, I don't know exactly what's going to happen Saturday. But, depending on what I have to do Saturday, the plan is to play some more Mario Maker on Saturday. Pokemon are the best series? Debate you? Pokemon has a really good game. Well, it has really good games. But uh, Digimon has the better anime. I'm not going to lie, I honestly do feel that way. But I'm not going to argue. Because it's, it's just a matter of personal preference. That's honestly what it is, so I'm not going to argue about that. I do enjoy the Pokemon anime, at least what I watched back in the past, because I don't think I watched past the Johto series. To be fair, I don't think I watched Digimon past part of the series where they use the cards. I don't remember which series that is. I remember watching the first two, and then I don't know if there was a break or if that was it immediately after. But I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of the one where they use cards. Adventure 1 and 2 were fantastic, though. I just, I don't know. I would love to sit back down and watch the beginning of those two shows again. Also, speaking of Pokemon, Bakugan? Bakugan. That sounds familiar. That's all I can really say about that is it sounds familiar. Uh oh. Wait here for just a second. I will say for a Pokemon though. My girlfriend has never watched Pokemon, but she's always wanted to play Pokemon. She's never done that either. But she's planning on getting Pokemon on the Switch, Pokemon Let's Go, and Sword or Shield. I don't know which one. But I hope she enjoys them. I know a lot of people were upset about the Pokedex thing. I don't know if anything's changed about that since people were upset. But I still want to play it. I'm still going to enjoy it, it's Pokemon. Ooh, Office was the first one to get back. I feel bad that they had to leave for this to start, but... Heck. I'm glad we got the race to go. Because I really want to play on this track again. Come on. Whew. Oh man, that could have been bad. That was bad. Did they actually... I think they... I can't really tell. I will say, I do think it's easier to do this on these tracks with a uh, turning character. But I'd much rather use the speed characters. That's just me though. Sorry, and trophy. But that was. Oh god! You tried to describe backing on it, backing on in three sentences, and realized it was too long and confusing. Well, alright then. Also, I did not expect that to happen. I stopped trying to make the jump after I hit the wall. I wasn't expecting it to just throw me off. If I expected that, I could have maybe saved that. Only maybe, because I don't know if I would have. No, 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 no,
Excuse me? Also, it looks like we can still win this. So, let's make this work. Come on. There we go, that's what I wanted to see. Ah, oh, rude. Whoops. What the heck is going on with the audio? Like, the audio is going out in my ears right now. I'm wondering if I'm hitting the uh, cord for the mic and it's actually messing things up. Like, I don't know if it's messing up for you guys or not, but it's messing up on my end. Which I hope it's just my end. Come on. Whew. That was not as good as it could have been. Come on. I will read what you post in just a second, I promise. No! I could have... I think I, think I would have won that if I would have made that jump. I think. I'm not gonna guarantee it. Sounds okay over there? Good, 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 good. It's on my end. It's just me hitting the cord and moving the thingy, the words. Basically, I throw balls in the, on the cards, and once the ball goes in the middle of the card, it unfolds into a little ball figure and then transforms to a giant creature based off the ball figure, and they fight? That seems weird. I don't know what to think about this. Oh, don't worry about it. I've actually done that in the past. And if I, if I do it again, it's my fault. I've actually done it on a few tracks and remained in first while racing and reading a message that was like a full paragraph. Because there's a few tracks where I'm just like, okay, I know the track and I can see it in my peripheral vision. Words. I have trouble with words. Um, and I can keep track of what I'm doing in the race while reading. But it's not consistent, it's just dependent on the track and how much I'm focusing on what I'm reading. Because I need to focus on what I'm reading more, but I still check back after the race is done to make sure I did read it correctly. If I ever do that. I do it for style points. I will say it has backfired on me. I did it once, and I was driving into a wall when I looked back up. So it doesn't always work in my favor. Because where I have everything set up, my computer is directly in front of me. It's like below the TV itself. It's so like, so your chat, well my chat is directly underneath my TV. So I do still see a majority of the screen. But it's still not the easiest thing in the world to do. And like I said, I've messed it up countless times. But if I mess up, it's my fault and you should never feel bad. Because I could have easily avoided it by just waiting till after the race. But I just don't do that. Look who finally showed up. I'm super hopeful that we can win this track because I think we won. Yeah, we won Pilot Tour. No! Rude! 
How do you like Prehistoric Playgrounds? Prehistoric Playgrounds is actually pretty good in my opinion. To be fair, Twilight Tour and Prehistoric Playground have both been fantastic. I know some people don't like racing on it, and I know it's because they're new and people are just like, yes, race on this track. But I haven't gotten tired of them. That's just me, though. Oh, I'm sorry, person. I don't even know how you hit there. Come on. I'm hoping to hold on to this until I get maybe the blue shield. Like that? Ah, oh, I messed it up. I was hoping to get it and then be able to just pull the shield up with the blue flames. Looks like Gripperoo might have gotten it. I'm going to hold on to this just in case. Which might feel or might sound stupid because Gripperoo's so far ahead, but I have a feeling it'll be a good thing for me to hold on to it. That wasn't the reason why, but I mean that works too. Come on. I was hoping I was going to hit that uh, power up, but that happens. Oh no, I hit that. Okay, so you're not the only person who feels the guilty when hitting someone even else on a shortcut, even though it's competitive. Yeah, I do feel bad about it. Like, even when, for the most part, I'll sometimes just use the items to get rid of them. Because I don't really want them, like, say, the bowling bomb. Because I'm just terrible at aiming. But, I've hit people with it doing that and just been like, oh heck, I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry. Look at that. Look at that first place. We got first place on both the uh, DLC tracks. That feels pretty good. I will say, I kind of wish they would have added achievements for uh, Pot Tour and Prehistoric Playground. I am not Canadian. Why do you ask? Is it because it's, uh, I have a Canadian accent or something? The reason I say that, I've actually been told uh, British accent, Australian accent, And two or three others that I can't remember off the top of my head. Those two are the most common, though. I have had that happen before, though. I apparently absorb all the accents around me and make one super accent that sounds like everything. Which, I mean, if that's the case, that's kind of awesome. But I never heard it myself. I'm so glad we got a win. Because we're getting closer and closer to being able to move to the all around characters or the acceleration characters. Where are we at on yours? Eight more wins. Nice. Yes, Poppy's Pyramid. Wait, we played on this earlier today. I forgot about playing on it. We should have done Sewer Speedway, that's my fault. Can't believe I did this. I do to how genuine I am. Got someone from Canada who knows a Canuck accent to a T. You know, it's like it sounds like a Southern European mix. I am from, I'm from North Carolina. 
which is in the south of the United States, some southern. But I do appreciate that. I always just try to be myself, especially here, because before I was like open about literally everything. I was very closed off and I was like, I'm not going to tell anybody about myself at all. I'm just going to hide who I am. But whenever I started Twitch, I was like, I can't do that anymore. I need to just be me and this could be my place to just be me. And not worry about anything. And this helped me be more open in real life and around others in general. And it's been really nice. I mean what you're getting is just me and that is what you will always get is just me which I am happy to be like I'm not sitting here hiding myself anymore which didn't do that on Twitch but still Thank you. I really appreciate that. It's surprising how easy it was to do that here, too. After being shy, reserved, mean. Not very chatty. Just kind of kept myself and everything. Then coming here and this being like super chatty. Not really shy at all. Just being like, this feels so much better. It's just been really good, and it's opened me up, like I said, a lot more in person and stuff. Which I think has been really good. Now, can we win? I feel like this is an easy track to do well on. But, me being me, I can screw up pretty easily. But as long as I don't get hacked up, I think we should be good. Which, it looks like we're going to do pretty well. So we've already pulled quite a ways ahead. Oh, heck, ding -o -dal. I'm sorry, buddy. I know I put that on the speed boost, but I wasn't expecting you might actually hit that. And yes, I was looking at the map whenever that happened just to see where they were. It looks like they were about where I put it. I need to actually just throw the, uh, the beaker forward if I want to get rid of it. I will say, I, uh, I do use items against people. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I don't. But I use it more whenever people are, like, really, like, on me. For a majority of the race. We did pretty good. I think we lapped all the AI. I think being the keyword. I didn't. Oh wait, so I did leave. That's right. They left right at the beginning of the race, or while the intro was playing. That's that's right. I completely forgot about that. I'm glad everybody finished the race. Got a pretty tasty lobby there. Got a pretty good lobby for that race. I will say, I do prefer closer races to that, but if I'm going for currency, I'm not going to complain about it. But still, I would like closer races because I don't feel like, I don't feel like I'm going to get better at the game, unless I 
have people that are closer to me or farther ahead of me. I feel kind of like a butt for saying that. Keep in mind, I don't really swear a lot. I do occasionally. But I do feel like a I do feel like a butt for saying that the way I did. But yeah, I do prefer to have closer races than that. Because I feel like that's the only way I want to get better is if people are ahead of me or around me the entire time. And honestly, I just tried not using items and being a typical Canadian, but as hammered as I get during races with items, I just freely use them now. And only avoid hitting people I'm queued with. I will say this, I am a butt to my friends. If I'm playing with a friend, which I haven't actually played with any friends on here. I, I brought Starbreaker earlier, but we haven't actually really talked or anything. It's just been a few races online where he'd pop in and be like, hey, let me join. And I'd be like, yeah, okay. But, um, I'm a butt to my friends. If I get really, if I'm like close friends with somebody, I might just target them. Unless they're like, okay, you need to stop. I'd be fine with that. I really would just know that since we haven't played before, I probably won't do party chat on stream. And I only play this on stream. But, if I'm around any other time and we have other games in common, I don't mind playing them. But I am still, at times, a very shy person and I don't feel comfortable just getting in parties with people that I haven't really talked to before. That's just me though. I just feel like I should say that for, like, we race or anything. When they accidentally hit you. Come on. Theo Dial needs to slow down. Not really. The seal. I love this track, but I still have not gotten this down yet. Aw, oh, heck. The farthest I've ever gotten is right here with the Ultra Sacred Fire. Dang it. I am screwing up quite a bit here. I almost feel like I need to get rid of his shield soon. Because I feel like a hacking clock or something is coming soon. Ooh, that was a good placement of that. That was really good on his part. But it's not gonna stop me. Ah, oh, it stopped me. <laughs> that was a really good placement on their part though. I was right on their tail. Sacred Fire Smash probably top three hardest ones to hold. I've ran into people that were able to hold it. And to me, it's just ridiculous that they're able to hold it like that. Ah, oh, heck. I was hoping to get one of those. Unless they screw up that jump, and I don't. They got this race. That was a good race, though. I wish I could have been a bit closer, but that was a good race. You might still listen to music and play alone. Okay. I am. I, I, I was about to say I'm surprised. But I'm not really all that surprised. I want to learn how to get the Ultra Sacred Fire here more often. 
or not get it more often, but can be able to consistently keep it throughout the race. What are the other two hardest ones to keep? Because I wouldn't know off the top of my head. I just know this one is like really hard for me personally. Which, before people started getting good with Sacred Fire, this was my track. This was the track that I would win most of the time on. But when people started getting better with it, and I didn't, it was like, oh, heck. These people are really good. Oh, I can see Thunderstruck being one of them. I don't get Thunderstruck often anymore, sadly. Wait, you can get... You can get Oh yeah, you can't get Ultra Sage Fire and Clockwork one, but that first part kills it for me so fast. That makes a lot of sense. I will say I'm fine with this victory screen though. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna vote for Dragon Mines, and then everybody leaves. Just because I never see it online. I mean, I can see those three in particular being the hardest ones. I've never kept Ultra Second Fire the entire time on Cortex Castle or Clockwork Wampa, but I th think I've kept it for a full lap at least on Thunderstruck. I think being the keyword. I could be completely wrong about that though. For all I know. Also, I need to check and see how close we are to uh, the final skin, too. I think we're seven or six races away. Because I think we got one at least since we hit uh, eight. I'd like to say we did at least. Now, we'll say once the uh, challenges come back for the Grand Prix, we'll probably get all the turning characters' skins unlocked. Cause we're on Zam right now, so after we get Zams, we need Liz and maybe Crashes. Yeah, I can see that. I can honestly see that being the case, but that's the reason why I voted for it, because nobody ever votes for it. And I understand 100% why people don't like it, and I think it's because of the, uh, I think it's that turn. I think that's honestly what it is. Is this right here? Not saying I'm good at it because I'm not, but it is a very rough part of the track. Ooh, people are being mean to me right now. Just heck. I don't know if I can do it. I had to do this for the uh, time trial. But I'm gonna try it. If I fail it, I fail it. Oh wait, I'm gonna fail it. I hacked up real bad. I'll try it on the final lap. But I would actually drift into that little hole where the cart goes. And I was drifting up through it. That's how I got through the time trial on that for uh, Oxide. You hated that stupid U-turn and the insanely inconsistent shortcut with the minecart? Yeah. I would like the shortcut more if the minecart was not existent there. Come on. I'm not going to hit him with it. I tried though. Ox Island's track is literally heck. I don't remember what my time was on it. I'll check it real quick. I say that because it's my end time for night streams. But I had to get the uh, 
shortcut every time to beat Oxide Slime. And I saw people online doing it without doing the shortcut, and I'm just like, how do you do this? Because I can't do the loop fast enough. The loop screws me up so much. I want to say the Dragon Mines one actually didn't take me too long, though. I think it took me like... I know it sounds like a long time, but... I think it took me 30 minutes. There were others that took me longer, I believe, though. But, um, when I did pre-sort playgrounds, I beat Oxide's time when I beat in Trophy, and I had never done that with any of the characters. Well, I had, but it hadn't been as much as it was with Oxide's time. I think I beat Oxide's time by, like, five or six seconds. Oh, I have not... I, I don't know if I could do that. I really don't know. Well, we should have enough for the, like, big event item when it starts tomorrow. At least I feel like we should. Also, I'm going for 100% in this game. I have all the achievements. I have all of the time trials done. I need to do Platinum Relics on hard difficulty. I need to do CTR tracks on all difficulty, or not all difficulty, but hard difficulty. Because I'm insane. Dragon Mines. 132. I beat it by two seconds. Your time's probably a lot better than mine is. 236. I think my time for Amy beforehand, because I played as Amy before I played as Baby T. was 2.38, and that was just after two attempts at the track. It's pretty good in my opinion, but I'm sure people can beat that by a lot more. And I know for a fact we got the uh, decal for this event. Because we're high enough on both leaderboards, I think. I have no idea, but I'll be starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. I wish I could tell you exactly what time I'd start, but I have no idea. But I want to say thank you everybody that stopped by, everybody that lurked and chatted. Thank you Bush for uh, the follow, I really appreciate it. If you stick by for a little bit, we're going to go host a friend of mine. Queen of the Lab, she's playing Apex. At least I think she's playing Apex now. She was playing Monster Hunter when I was there earlier. But, wait, you should already have the champion cart stuff? I had the cart before, let me check. But I don't know if I have the new decal. Yeah, I don't have the new one, because there's actually a third one that had the uh, T-Rex chicken thing at the end of uh, Prehistoric Playground on it. But, see y'all later. I hope y'all have a wonderful night, and a wonderful day tomorrow, and I can't wait to see y'all again very soon. Goodbye, everybody.